The Supreme Court of the Philippines Filipino, Katas Tasing Hukuman ng Pilipinas, colloquially referred to as Court Suprema, is the highest court in the Philippines. It is presided over by a Chief Justice and is composed of 15 15 justices, including the Chief Justice. Pursuant to the Constitution, the Supreme Court has administrative supervision over all courts and the personnel thereof. The Supreme Court complex, which was formerly the part of the University of the Philippines Manila campus, occupies the corner of Padre Forest Street and Taft Avenue in Manila, with the main building directly fronting the Philippine General Hospital. Until 1945, the court met in Cavite. Constitutional role Composition a person must meet the following requirements in order to be appointed to the Supreme Court. 1. Natural-born citizenship. 2. At least 40 years old. And 3. Must have been for 15 years or more a judge of a lower court or engaged in the practice of law in the Philippines. An additional constitutional requirement, though less precise in nature, is that a judge must be a person of proven competence, integrity, probity, and independence. Upon a vacancy in the court, whether for the position of Chief Justice or Associate Justice, the President fills the vacancy by appointing a person from a list of at least three nominees prepared by the Judicial and Bar Council. Supreme Court Justices are obliged to retire upon reaching the mandatory retirement age of 70. Some justices had opted to retire before reaching the age of 70, such as Florentino Feliciano, who retired at 67 to accept appointment to the appellate body of the World Trade Organization and MA. Alicia Austria Martinez who retired at 68 due to health reasons. The 1987 Constitution of the Philippines provides that. Section 11, Article 8. The members of the Supreme Court XXX shall hold office during good behavior until they reach the age of 70 years or become incapacitated to discharge the duties of their office. One, since, 1901, it was only incumbent Associate Justice Alicia Austria Martinez who resigned for health reasons. Thus, on September, 2008, Austria Martinez, citing health reasons, filed a letter to the court through Reynato Puno, tendering her resignation effective April 30, 2009, or 15 months before her compulsory retirement on December 19, 2010. This was followed in 2016 however, by Justice Martin Villarama, who resigned in January 2016, due to health reasons. Adjudication The powers of the Supreme Court are defined in Article 8 of the 1987 Constitution. These functions may be generally divided into two, judicial functions and administrative functions. The administrative functions of the court pertain to the supervision and control over the Philippine judiciary and its employees, as well as over members of the Philippine Bar. Pursuant to these functions, the court is empowered to order a change of venue of trial in order to avoid a miscarriage of justice and to appoint all officials and employees of the judiciary. The court is further authorized to promulgate the rules for admission to the practice of law, for legal assistance to the underprivileged, and the procedural rules to be observed in all courts. The more prominent role of the court is located in the exercise of its judicial functions. Section 1 of Article 8 contains definition of judicial power that had not been found in previous constitutions. The judicial power is vested in one Supreme Court and in such lower courts as may be established by law. Quote, this judicial power is exercised through the judiciary's primary role of adjudication, which includes the duty of the courts of justice to settle actual controversies involving rights which are legally demandable and enforceable, and to determine whether or not there has been a grave abuse of discretion amounting to lack or excess of jurisdiction on the part of any branch or instrumentality of the government. The definition reaffirms the power of the Supreme Court to engage in judicial review, a power that had traditionally belonged to the court even before this provision was enacted. Still, this new provision effectively dissuades from the easy resort to the political question doctrine as a means of declining to review a law or state action, as was often done by the court during the rule of President Ferdinand Marcos. As a result, the existence of grave abuse of discretion, on the part of any branch or instrumentality of the government is sufficient basis to nullify state action. Cases the court is authorized to sit either and bank or in divisions of three, five or seven members. 
Since the 1970s, the court has constituted itself in three divisions with five members each. A majority of the cases are heard and decided by the divisions, rather than the court and bank. However, the Constitution requires that the court here and bank a LL cases involving the constitutionality of a treaty, international or executive agreement, as well as those involving the constitutionality, application, or operation of presidential decrees, proclamations, orders, instructions, ordinances, and other regulations. The court and bank also decides cases originally heard by a division when a majority vote cannot be reached within the division. The court also has the discretion to hear a case and bank even if no constitutional issue is involved, as it typically does if the decision would reverse precedent or presents novel or important questions. Appellate review Far and away the most common mode by which a case reaches the Supreme Court is through an appeal from a decision rendered by a lower court. Appealed cases generally originate from lawsuits or criminal indictments filed and tried before the trial courts. These decisions of the trial courts may then be elevated on appeal to the Court of Appeals, or more rarely, directly to the Supreme Court if only questions of law are involved. Apart from decisions of the Court of Appeals, the Supreme Court may also directly review on appeal decisions rendered by the Sandiganbayan and the Court of Tax Appeals. Decisions rendered by administrative agencies are not directly appealable to the Supreme Court, they must be first challenged before the Court of Appeals. However, decisions of the Commission on Elections may be elevated directly for review to the Supreme Court, although the procedure is not, strictly speaking, in the nature of an appeal. Review on appeal is not as a matter of right, but of sound judicial discretion and will be granted only when there are special and important reasons therefore. In the exercise of appellate review, the Supreme Court may reverse the decision of lower courts upon a finding of an error of law. The court generally declines to engage in review the findings of fact made by the lower courts, although there are notable exceptions to this rule. The court also refuses to entertain cases originally filed before it that should have been filed first with the trial courts. Original Jurisdiction the other mode by which a case reaches the Supreme Court is through an original petition filed directly with the Supreme Court, in cases that the Constitution establishes original jurisdiction with the Supreme Court. Under Section 5, 1, Article 8 of the Constitution, they are cases affecting ambassadors, other public ministers and consuls, and over petitions for certiorari, prohibition, mandamus, quo warranto, and habeas corpus. Resort to certiorari, prohibition and mandamus may be availed of only if there is no appeal, or any plain, speedy, and adequate remedy in the ordinary course of law. However, notwithstanding the grant of original jurisdiction, the court has, through the years, assigned to lower courts such as the Court of Appeals the power to hear petitions for certiorari, prohibition, mandamus, quo warranto and habeas corpus. As a result, the court has considerable discretion to refuse to hear these petitions filed directly before it on the ground that such should have been filed instead with the Court of Appeals or the appropriate lower court. Nonetheless, cases that have attracted wide public interest or for which a speedy resolution is of the essence have been accepted for decision by the Supreme Court without hesitation. In cases involving the original jurisdiction of the court, there must be a finding of grave abuse of discretion on the part of the respondents to the suit to justify favorable action on the petition. The standard of grave abuse of discretion, a markedly higher standard than error of law, has been defined as a capricious and whimsical exercise of judgment amounting to lack of jurisdiction. History Pre-Hispanic and Hispanic periods in the years prior to the official establishment of the Supreme Court, institutions exercising judicial power were already in existence. Before the Spaniards came, judicial authority was in the hands of barangay chiefs. During the early years of the Spanish government, these powers were vested upon Miguel López de Legazpi, the first governor-general of the Philippines. He administered civil and criminal justice under the Royal Order of August 14, 1569. 
The present Supreme Court was preceded by the Real Audiencia, a collegial body established on May 5, 1583 and composed, of a president, four oidores, justices, and a fiscal, among others. The chief judge of the Real Audiencia was the Governor General of the Philippines. It was the highest tribunal in the Philippines, below only the Council of the Indies of Spain, however, this body also exercised administrative functions, not just judicial functions. The Audiencia's functions and structure underwent substantial modifications in 1815 when its president was replaced by a chief justice and the number of justices was increased. It then came to be known as the Audiencia Territorial de Manila with two branches, civil and criminal, later renamed Sala de lo Civil and Sala de lo Criminal. The Audiencia was converted to a purely judicial body by a royal decree issued on July 4, 1861, but its decisions were appealable to the Supreme Court of Spain sitting in Madrid. On February 26, 1886, a territorial Audiencia was organized in Cebu, followed by an Audiencia for criminal cases in Vigan. However, the pre-eminence of the Supreme Court as the sole interpreter of the law was unknown during the Spanish regime. American period From 1898 to 1901 there was no Supreme Court as the new American Governor General of the Philippines abolished the colonial Real Audiencia of Manila as the Philippines was under U.S. military law under military rule. The Supreme Court of the Philippines was officially established on June 11, 1901 through the passage of Act No. 136, otherwise known as the Judiciary Law of the Second Philippine Commission. By virtue of that law, judicial power in the Philippine Islands was vested in the Supreme Court, courts of first instance and justice of the peace courts. Other courts were subsequently established. The judicial structure introduced by Act No. 136 was reaffirmed by the U.S. Congress with the passage of the Philippine Bill of 1902. The Administrative Code of 1917 ordained the Supreme Court as the highest tribunal of the Philippines with nine members, a Chief Justice and eight Associate Justices. Its decisions could be further appealed to the U.S. Supreme Court in Washington, D.C. Commonwealth and Independence from 1901 to 1935, although a Filipino was always appointed Chief Justice, the majority of the members of the Supreme Court were Americans. Complete Filipinization was achieved only with the establishment of the Commonwealth of the Philippines in 1935. Claro M. Recto and José P. Laurel were among the first appointees to replace the American justices. With the ratification of the 1935 Constitution in a plebiscite held on May 14, 1935, the membership in the Supreme Court increased to 11, a Chief Justice and 10 Associate Justices, who sat in bank or in two divisions of five members each. Article 5 of the Treaty of Manila 1946, abolished the U.S. Supreme Court's appellate authority over the Supreme Court of the Philippines, but provided that Philippine appeals pending before the U.S. Supreme Court would be allowed to run to completion. Under the 1973 Constitution, the membership of the Supreme Court was increased to 15. The justices sat in bank or in divisions. The 1973 Constitution also vested in the Supreme Court administrative supervision over all lower courts which heretofore was under the Department of Justice. After the overthrow of President Ferdinand Marcos in 1986, President Corazon C. Aquino, using her emergency powers, promulgated a transitory charter known as the Freedom Constitution, which did not affect the composition and powers of the Supreme Court. The Freedom Charter was replaced by the 1987 Constitution which is the fundamental charter in force in the Philippines at present. Section 1 Article 8 of the Constitution vests the judicial power, in one Supreme Court and in such lower courts as may be established by law. Writ of Amparo The Supreme Court approved the Writ of Amparo on September 25, 2007. The writ of amparo, Spanish for protection, strips the military of the defense of simple denial. Under the writ, families of victims have the right to access information on their cases, a constitutional right called the habeas data, common in several Latin American countries. The rule is enforced retroactively. Chief Justice Puno stated that 
If you have this right, it would be very, very difficult for state agents, state authorities to be able to escape from their culpability. The resolution and the rule on the writ of Amparo gave legal birth to Puno's brainchild. No filing or legal fees is required for Amparo which takes effect on October 24. Puno also stated that the court will soon issue rules on the writ of habeas data and the implementing guidelines for habeas corpus. The petition for the writ of Amparo may be filed on any day and at any time with the Regional Trial Court, or with the Sandiganbayan, the Court of Appeals, and the Supreme Court. The interim reliefs under Amparo are Temporary Protection Order TPO, Inspection Order IO, Production Order PO, and Witness Protection Order WPO, RA 6981. The Asian Human Rights Commission AHRC, has criticized the writ of Amparo and habeas data for being insufficient, saying further action must be taken, including enacting laws for protection against torture, enforced disappearance, and laws to provide legal remedies to victims. AHRC said the writ failed to protect non-witnesses, even if they too face threats. Habeas data On August 30, 2007, Puno vowed to institute the writ of habeas data as a new legal remedy to the extrajudicial killings and enforced disappearances. Puno explained that the writ of Amparo denies to authorities defense of simple denial, and habeas data can find out what information is held by the officer, rectify or even the destroy erroneous data gathered. On January 22, 2008, the Supreme Court N Bank approved the rules for the writ of habeas data to protect a person's right to privacy and allow a person to control any information concerning them, effective on February 2, the Philippines Constitution Day. Language since the court's creation, English had been used in court proceedings. But for the first time in Philippine judicial history, or on August 22, 2007, three Malolos City Regional Trial Courts in Bulacan will use Filipino, to promote the national language. Twelve stenographers from branches 6, 80 and 81, as model courts, had undergone training at Marcelo H. Del Pilar College of Law of Bulacan State University College of Law following a directive from the Supreme Court of the Philippines. De La Rama said it was the dream of Chief Justice Reynado Puno to implement the program in other areas such as Laguna, Cavite, Quezon, Nueva Ecija, Batangas, Rizal, and Metro Manila. Judicial corruption on January 25, 2005, and on December 10, 2006, Philippines Social Weather Stations released the results of its two surveys on corruption in the judiciary. It published that, uh, like 1995, one quarter of lawyers said many, very many judges are corrupt. But 49% stated that a judge has received bribes, just 8% of lawyers admitted they reported the bribery, because they could not prove it. Tables 8 to 9, judges, however, said, just 7% call many, very many judges as corrupt. Tables 10 to 11, b, judges see some corruption. Proportions who said, many, very many corrupt judges or justices, 17% in reference to RTC judges, 14% to MTC judges, 12% to Court of Appeals justices, 4% I to Sharia court judges, 4% to Sandiganbayan justices and 2% in reference to Supreme Court justices. Table 15, the September September 14, 2008, Political and Economic Risk Consultancy PERC, survey, ranked the Philippines 6th 6 among corrupt Asian judicial systems. PERC stated that, despite India and the Philippines being democracies, expatriates did not look favorably on their judicial systems because of corruption. PERC reported Hong Kong and Singapore have the best judicial systems in Asia, with Indonesia and Vietnam the worst. Hong Kong's judicial system scored 1.45 on the scale, 0 representing the best performance and 10 the worst. Singapore with a grade of 1.92, followed by Japan 3.50, South Korea 4.62, Taiwan 4. 0.93, the Philippines 6.10, Malaysia 6.47, India 6.50, Thailand 7.00, China 7.25, Vietnam's 8.10, and Indonesia 8.26, in the Corruption Perceptions Index CPI. The Philippines jumped nine places in the recently published World Justice Project WJP, Rule of Law Index 2015, making it one of the most improved countries in terms of global rankings. It ranked 51st out of 102 countries on the ROLI, a significant jump from last year when the country ranked 60th out of 99 countries. This makes the Philippines the most improved among ASEAN member nations.
Results showed that the country ranked high in terms of constraints on government powers 39th, absence of corruption 47th, and open government 50th. The Philippines, however, fell to the bottom half of the global rankings in terms of regulatory enforcement 52nd, order and security 58th, criminal justice 66th, fundamental rights 67th, and civil justice 75th. Bantag Court Suprema Watch the Supreme Court. Coalition was launched at the Training Center, Ground Floor, Supreme Court Centennial Building on November 17, 2008. To ensure the fair and honest selection of the seven Associate Justices of the Supreme Court on 2009. Members of Bante Court Suprema include retired Philippine presidents, retired Supreme Court justices, legislators, legal practitioners, the academe, the business community and the media, former Senate President Jovito Salonga, UP Law Dean Marvik Leonin, Senate Majority Leader and Judicial and Bar Council Member Kiko Pangilinan, the Philippine Bar Association, Artemio Panganaban, and Rodolfo Urbistondo, of the 48,000-strong Integrated Bar of the Philippines IBP, and the Chambers of Commerce, witnessed the landmark event. BKS will neither select nor endorse a candidate, but if it receive information that makes a candidate incompetent, it will divulge this to the public and inform the JBC. At the BKS launching, the Memorandum of Understanding Mo, on the public monitoring of the selection of justices to the SC was signed. Meanwhile, the Supreme Court Appointments Watch SCAW, Coalition of Law Groups and Civil Society to monitor the appointment of persons to judicial positions was also relaunched. The SCAW Consortium, composed of the Alternative Law Groups, Libertas, Philippine Association of Law Schools and the Transparency and Accountability Network, together with the online news magazine Newsbreak, reactivated itself for the JBC selection process of candidates. Current justices By law school By appointing president Supreme Court Justices of the Philippines Philippine Judicial System See also Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of the Philippines Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the Philippines Political History of the Philippines Constitution of the Philippines Judicial Executive Legislative Advisory and Consultative Council JELAC Articles of Impeachment against Chief Justice Renato Corona landmark judicial decisions selection Falsus III v. Civil Registrar General 2018, Petition to Recognize Same-Sex Marriage in the Philippines Republic v. Sereno 2018, Quo Waranto Petition Against Impeachable Official League of Cities of the Philippines v. Comelec 2011, Validity of the Cityhood Laws of 16 Municipalities Javelana v. Executive Secretary 1974, Ratification of the 1973 Constitution SEMA v. Comelec 2008, Power of the Autonomous Region to Create Provinces and Cities Lagman et al. v. Senate President Pimentel et al. 2017, Validity of Second Extension of the Proclamation of Martial Law in Entire Mindanao for One Year Kravenko v. Register of Deeds, 1947, Prohibition of Foreign Acquisition of Private or Public Agricultural Lands, Including Residential Lands Neri v. Senate, 2008, Validity of Extension of Executive Privilege to Cabinet Officials Baraugo v. Philippine Truth Commission, 2010, Validity of Creation of Truth Commission Re, Letter of Presiding Justice Conrado M. Vasquez Jr. on CAGR. SP No. 103692, 2008, Irregularities and Improprieties Committed by the Court of Appeals Justices in Connection with the Maralca Case Oposa v. 
Factor in 1993, Doctrine of Intergenerational Responsibility on the Environment in the Philippine Legal System People v. Hernandez 1956, Rebellion is charged as a single offense rather than complex crime Quinto v. Comelec 2009, Incumbent appointive executive officials to stay in office after filing their certificates of candidacy for election to an elective officials David V. Ho, 2015, Eligibility of Foundling for Public Office Knights of Rizal v. DMCI, 2017, Suspension of the Construction, and Ultimate Demolition of the Condominium Building for Violating National Cultural Heritage Act People v. Estrada, 2007, Charging the Former President for the Offense of Plunder Saturnino C. Ocampo, et al., v. Rear Admiral Ernesto C. Enriquez, et al., 2016, Constitutional Validity of Internment of the Remains of President Ferdinand Marcos to the Livingan ng Mga Bayani. Books Dinla, Imelda, April 2014. Public Support and Judicial Empowerment of the Philippine Supreme Court. Contemporary Southeast Asia. 36 1, 128-158. References External links Philippines, Gov. Ph. About the Philippines, Justice Category The Supreme Court of the Philippines, Official Website The Supreme Court of the Philippines in Tamiz